Welcome back to Fire Emblem Radiant Dawn. So, after the marathon of a chapter that was 4-1, although, I mean, it didn't actually take that long. I think the recording time for the final run at it was less than an hour and a half, but which is pretty fast for, for me at this point in the game. But <laughs> so I think including the all the recording time of the... Uh, failed attempts is probably like four or five hours. I don't know. Anyway, uh, now we are off to 4-2 and the Hawk Army and not Fog of War, which will probably make things go a lot more smoothly. Let's start with our conversations. Oh my gosh. All right. What <laughs> the, the freaking Satori signs? <laughs> I actually kind of forgot about the Satori sign as I was playing through the last chapter, but it really doesn't matter anyway, so who cares. Oh, they happened to be in the building. Why were they in the building? <laughs> what? I didn't even like give thought to that earlier, but why? <laughs> like, like, we're gonna have a conference between all of the important military leaders in the Apostles' Army, also our shopkeepers. <laughs> Rex Flame. I think that's the SS Fire Tom. Yeah, you don't need that, and you don't need that. Yeah, so once again, a big expensive tome that I'm not going to use because I don't have anybody who can use it. Hooray. <clears throat> okay, so at least I assume like that Khalil also is locked yeah, in terms of her weapon ranks. So. I'm surprised that she has all maxed weapon ranks. It's not because I used her extensively, uh, and it's not because of transfer bonuses. So. She must just come that way out of the box. Um, Alright, I don't think, again, XP-wise, that there's a whole lot going on here in terms of warding people stuff. Uh, like, it'd be nice to level up Ulki, but, you know, I don't really see that being the best use of the limited bonus experience I have. Let's see. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. Um, I think this, for, for the most part, like compared to the the Grail army, I think this party's objective from a training standpoint is mostly just to get through the chapters and get get some experience on Alencia and Shinon, and the rest of them can just try to survive. <laughs> Um, we got in the shop another worm slayer and some more leafy grass, and we can forge again. Um, I think this has long past the point of ever changing. <clears throat> anyway, all right, so let's just head out and see what who we're gonna bring. I wonder why they don't... Like, if they can do that anyway, why don't they just teleport, I mean, like, like literally right on top of us? Yeah, another route map. Oh, Valtome is here. How exciting. And we get an S-rank light tome from him, which poisons people, which how... Why that is considered light magic, I don't know. Um... I mean, it says it's a corruption, but still, it's weird. Anyway, not stealable physics staves. Meh. Anything else that's stealable? Wait, do I even? I don't think you think have anybody who can steal in this party. I don't, so I don't have to think about it. Oh, let's look at who we're taking. That looks not quite correct. Um. 
All right, obviously we're taking race in. Let's just do this. Obviously we're taking Shinon. Obviously you're taking Riss. <clears throat> we'll take Jin off and Oki. We will not be taking Megan Aaron, so we don't really need to look at them. Okay, so one thing to look at is stats. <laughs> so Zahark. So okay, so here's the thing about uh Lucia or Lucia or Lucia or however you would pronounce that. One of our three members of the Illuminati along with Valencia and Marsha. So when she was first with us in part two for the one chapter, she, with the silver sword, could kill things pretty reliably, and she was really fast, and, you know, she had, her, her bulk was fine. I mean, she could take some damage, but, but now, if we compare her to Edward and Zahark, um, and she actually does have a little bit more bulk than them, uh, but she's actually slower than Zahark, and she's got significantly less strength than both of them. She does have more skill than Edward, but less than Zahark. So, yeah, it's just kind of, like, and Edward and Zahark aren't even, like, that good. Like, really. Uh, certainly not if you compare them to Mia. Like, Mia just blows them all away. It's not even close. Um, but, like, that 27 speed, I mean, we saw how much trouble uh, Titania and Oscar had doubling from that benchmark in the last chapter, right? So, now, I don't know if the enemy quality is the same in this chapter, or higher, or lower, or what, but uh, it's... Talk shh. Sorry. Um, <laughs> let's see. So we got here. There's the 24 speed halberdier. 24 speed halberdier. 29 speed swordmaster. I think that's actually faster than what we were seeing in the last chapter. The boss had 29 speed in the last chapter. I think the swordmasters generally had about 27 speed. So 19 speed bishop, I think, is actually faster than what we saw in the last chapter. Not that it really matters. 21 speed general is actually a little slower. 22 speed general, that was what we were seeing. 24 speed, well, there weren't any snipers in the last chapter, so I don't know. 28 speed sword master, 23 speed general, that's faster. Um, 23 speed warrior is, that's, they were 23 or 24, so that's about right, but it is slow enough for Lucia to double, so that's good. 20 speed general, 20 speed general, 22 speed general, 22 speed halberdier, that's slower. 22 speed halberdier is slower, 26 speed swordmaster is slower, 26, 26, 23 speed warrior, 24 speed warrior, sniper, I don't know, 24 warrior, 27 swordmaster, 23 warrior, 23 sniper, 23 warrior, 23 warrior, 20 general, 22 general, how many enemies are there on this map? Good lord. Uh... Tired of calling this out. Oh, we got some wyverns. Uh, Panachea. That's so that you can heal your or like remove uh, the poison from Valto. I'm sure that's the intention. Oh, well, we can bring a restore staff if we are really concerned about it, which I'm not. Anyway, I think the enemy quality is maybe ever so slightly lower than in the last chapter, but still, it's really quite high. And so, yeah, I mean, a lot of a lot of these units are going to struggle, um, and are going to like I struggle to, to double. Edward is certainly going to struggle to like he's not going to double anything at this point. He's supposed to be fast. I think my Edward has gotten speed screwed. In fairness, uh, that's something I could. I could figure out and that I want to figure out because I just want to know. Um, so, uh, let's see, Edward, base stats, 12 speed. And what's his level? Level four. Yeah, 12 speed, level four. So he gains 16 levels 
to get to level 20, and I do believe he did gain all of those levels. Um, of course, BXP throws a wrench into this calculation, but I don't... Did I ever even give him a BXP level? I may well not have. But anyway, so he gained 16 levels and then another 5... Or 4, rather, after promotion. So 20 levels. Um... And his speed growth rate is 60, so you would expect him to get 12 speed levels. You'd expect him to have 24 speed, and he has 21 speed. Uh, that's not even counting for promotion bonuses, actually, although the promotion bonus is only once. But you'd expect him to have 25 speed. Now, that's still not amazing, but the fact that his speed is bad enough that he's actually going to get doubled in this chapter is not something that you would expect, uh, even if you... Like, at, given how much I have trained him. So, yeah. Now, let's see. Uh, who are we actually bringing? So, even though Renolf was useless during the Grail Mercenaries chapters, the fact that he has 15, uh, well, 30 uh, transform speed probably means he's better than everyone else except maybe Zahark uh, of the units I have left, so I will be bringing him. Uh, Zahark has got to be the best of these units, so I'll be bringing him. <clears throat> uh, we could bring Khalil to use Siege Tomes. I don't really see that that's going to do much, though. Maybe against the Wyverns it would, it would do something. Um, or just, like, bringing Lightning Magic in general would do something. Like, 11 resistance is really low. Uh, but having her deal, having her try to like walk up to things, I mean, her speed, she is going to get doubled by damn near everything uh, with 18 speed. Like, you need to have, like, I would, I would estimate at least like 70, maybe 80% of the units in this chapter have at least 22 speed. So, so that's not good. Um, all right, I do, I do think I'm going to bring Nolan. Well, let me just double check on this. But how many? There's actually not that many Pegasi. I was thinking, you know, Nolan with the crossbow can shoot down some Pegasi, but there's actually not that many. Certainly, um... Certainly not as many as there are generals. Now, of course, Nolan could also bring a hammer, but he's not going to kill generals with a hammer. Like, that's that's not going to happen. You know who is going to kill generals? It's Tibarn. Tibarn. Like, I, yeah, this is probably just going to mostly be the, the Tivern show. <laughs> uh, which, you know, is a lot, it's a lot more viable when you don't have, like, a Fog of War map and don't have, like, a character that you have to defend. I don't actually know what the consequences for letting Ina get wrecked in in the previous chapter are. Like, was it in the conditions that you had to protect that square with Kurth Nagawas? He probably was, but I didn't actually look at that. Anyway, but the point is, I don't have to. I don't have to split up, so I can just have Tibarn like, you know, fly around everywhere and kill everything. I mean, he can't. Obviously, he can't counterattack ranged enemies, and there are some archers that he has to watch out for. But there's a lot of enemies that do not have ranged weapons, like, you know, this guy has a ranged weapon, and like none of the rest of these guys do. These two obviously do, um, but most of the most of the non, like, inherently ranged classes, so non-snipers and mages, seem not to have ranged weapons. This guy has one. Um, a couple of those guys, too. That guy does. That guy does. But, you know, I'm feeling... feeling pretty good about how much work Tibarn is going to put in. Um, and obviously, Alencia can do a lot, too. <clears throat> But she, you know, she has the same problem of not having the one to two range. I mean, I can give her a wind edge, but her strength is not up to par to be able to really do work with a wind edge. So I'm not, I'm not probably going to actually bother. <clears throat> Especially just because the immediate is so good. I'd rather just, I'd rather just have her, you know, have another like slot for a staff. Okay, so. Toroneo will also get doubled a whole bunch, and his he's actually not that bulky at this point. Like, it's, you know, the game passes him by pretty quickly, you know, and he's only got 21 defense. That is, that's like Kieran level defense. That's actually maybe, I think Kieran had 20 defense at the start of last chapter, but I mean, we saw how well Kieran did 
Kieran has more HP than T Torneo and more speed and more, like, like one more luck. I mean, he has less resistance, but... Ugh. <laughs> you know, uh... It's really hard to justify bringing the, a lot of these characters are going to be as much liabilities as they are helpful. Um... Like, who, who on here is weak enough that, like, you know, Lucia or Nolan or Edward can, like, do stuff to them? Like, these guys don't have amazing defense, but they do have amazing speed, and so they're not going to get doubled. I mean the bishops, but whatever, who cares? Um, you know, Lucia could double these snipers, but she's still probably not going to kill them. They got 20 defense. That's more than her strength. So she's basically just relying on the weapon might to deal any damage at all. Uh, gosh. I mean, I'm honestly inclined to just go with, like, this party. Um, like, some of these characters will be usable against the Goos in the, in the next chapter because um, the Lagoos can untransform, and you got, like, the beast foe that, no, like, Nolan with the crossbow can do work again, and they don't have two, none of them have two range, so you can, like, you know, have somebody kill an enemy and then, like, screen them with, you know, a stronger character or whatever, but in this chapter, where there's, there are enough, and I, I just, I'm not... Well, I guess the other thing is, like, the last time we fought Lagoos in 313, there weren't... They weren't generally fast enough to double these people, not... These characters. Now, maybe they will be uh, in 4-4, four, four, or 4-5, four, whatever it is. 4-5, yeah. Maybe they will be fast enough. I wouldn't be surprised, I guess. Um, I suppose the other thing I could do... I don't really want to... Is I got... Oh my gosh, Alencia only has 22 speed. Oh dear. <laughs> She's gonna get doubled by sword masters. Uh and she ooh. I could give her the speed wing. I was gonna say I could give one of these guys the speed wing, but the other thing I can do is like let her start out healing and then like once she gets some speed levels, then like bring her into combat or just have her focus on enemies that can't double. I mean she's got a 70% speed growth, so so she should be like reasonably well able to to gain speed, but but 22 is pretty far below like the benchmark that you really want to hit. Um, and then, like who else wants the speed wing? I mean Oscar and Titania, it turns out, would have liked to have it, but they did gain more speed. So at this point, I'm I'm okay with where they are, and I'm not sure I'm going to bring them into the tower. Although I'm not sure I'm going to bring Valencia into the tower either. You know. The units that I'm sure I'll bring into the tower will probably never need it. Um, you know, they by the time they get to about by the time you get to about 34 speed, I want to say you're you're pretty much doubling everything that you're ever going to run into because there's very very few tier three enemies. None of the tier two caps are above 30. Black Knight is has 30. D Degencia probably has about 30. Um, I don't actually remember, but like you know, you you don't really need. Like once you get to like 34, you're you're pretty much doubling like everything you're ever gonna run into. Um, so yeah, a lot of the, these characters that are better off don't aren't gonna ever need the speed wings unless they just want it to like cap the stats so that they can use BXP to gain other stats or something along those lines. So, but well, the the marginal value of having Alencia have more speed is pretty high. A 24 is still not enough to like really make a difference against most of the enemies right now, but once she gains a, a few levels, and she's about to gain a level right now, so... Yeah, I think that's about as good a use case as I've got for this speed wing, so I think I will do that. Uh, we've also got... Okay, I'm going to give Alki this Tori sign, because there's a reasonable chance that he'll want to use that mid-chapter. Now that we're at the point where he's going to be gaining, like, for real, um, 
XP. Um... Man. To bring other units or to not bring other units. I mean, they will get, like, a, a lot of XP for getting kills if they do manage to get kills. So, it, like, you know, if I bring Nolan with a crossbow and he shoots down, like, two Pegasus Knights, he'll probably get two levels. So there, there's some value in trying to do that and just, like, don't don't go out of my way to, to like, feed him kills. But if I get the opportunity then, like, pick, to pick up a couple kills, there's still, like, that still does a lot. Um... That's much more true of these two than of these two, obviously. Um, so that would be an argument for taking like Nolan and Edward and then take, you know, maybe take Lucia because she's at least not gonna probably be a liability because she's fast enough that she won't get doubled. Um, I mean, she just won't do any damage, of course, but yeah, I think I'll try that. And then if things go horribly wrong, uh, I'll reconsider. So, dump all the tornadoes crap in the convoy, and then, uh, and then go back to the base. Okay. So, oh, uh, let's do let's do skills first, actually. So, oh, I wanted to give pass to Tibarn. Wah. Uh, does he really need savior? I mean, it's it's pretty cool, but uh, who else would I rather have pass on? I mean, I guess I should. Oh, I'm gonna take this off. I, I assume Alencia cannot be a. S oh my gosh, she can! Wow, that that is. That is a lot of, of HP. I mean, granted, granted, she has staves, um, which means that she potentially can like heal herself that way anyway. But, oh man, that's so much HP. 17 a turn, like holy crap. Yeah, there's nobody else in this party who particularly wants it. Um, Maybe Lucia, but... I wouldn't expect Alencia to take a lot of damage, not just because, like, oh, you know, she dodges or whatever, which I don't even know if that's going to be the case anymore, but more because, like, since she has a brave weapon, I would expect my approach to be trying to get her kills in a context where, you know, she's not going to get counterattacked, right? It's like, either she can kill the guy or she's not going to attack him at all. So, like, I wouldn't expect her to take damage too much, but, uh, hmm, <laughs> all right, um, cancel as a speed-based ability on Edward is not making a lot of sense, um, now, if he gets into resolve range, like, maybe I switch, right? give cancel to Zahark and give resolve to Edward. If he gets into a resolve range with Wrath, he has, I mean, it's dangerous as all get out, to be fair. But he has 31 speed, so he doubles everything on the map, I'm pretty sure. Oh no, there was like one sword master who had like 29 or something, but he doubles a lot of things. He gets to 33 skill, so his crit rate goes up. I, uh, I don't know why I didn't actually do this before, to be honest, but... Now, the other thing I could do... What else have I got in here? Nothing super relevant. Um, so the other thing I could do is... Like, 
Like, the Vantage cancel combo is nice, but I guess Vantage... What is... What is the activation rate for Vantage? Like, what is... What is the triggering condition? I know it's not 100% of the time, because sometimes Mia gets attacked first. So... Speed percentage. Okay. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean, it's that means it's be it is better on Zahark, and he's got he's got like he can do the vantage cancel thing. But if I put Edward in in resolve range and wrath range, then vantage becomes more likely to activate, and it becomes really strong from the standpoint of like, hey, we can get like res wrath resolve crits off on a vantage attack, and then not have to you know get attacked, which is pretty important when you're you know only have thirty percent of your HP. <laughs> So, which for him is nine. So not exactly a lot. Um, remember when I didn't get either of those Seraph robes? I don't know that I would have given one to Edward, but it would have certainly been nice too. Okay, so we can take off Beast Foe. I don't need that. Um, I'm probably going to put it on him for next time, but still, might as well just take it off. Um, I, mean, I guess in theory we could give some of the Sword Mastery skills to Lucia, but I don't really see the point. She doesn't have any of like the built-in stuff that like works well with them. Yeah, I mean, add up cancel is also like a combo too, so that's I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. Just do it like that. Um, at some point, we're going to want to take Niall off of Nolan, but for now, I don't really see that there's any reason to. I don't think... I, once again, I don't think Wild Heart is viable. Um, nullify on Janoff. Who's got the better avoid? Him or Ulki? Okay, more speed, more luck. No, not more luck. But oh, why does he have more avoid? Oh, because he's got the, yeah, the skill, vigilance. Okay. So, and he's got an adept that, I guess we'll stick with that. Um, that'll, That'll be pretty useful for now. I mean, I could, I would, there, I could see wanting to have an adept on one of the other parties, but I think, I think that'll be fine. Oh, Riss doesn't have shade. Who has shade? Oh, Laura. It's Laura. Okay, so I think. Wait, is there was there like pass? Yeah, I don't. Oh, and Renewal. Who might want Renewal? Janoff, Ulki. Um, I've had two, I've had opportunities to give that Renewal scroll to both, to like my other parties. So there's no reason I shouldn't give it to this party, but they, uh, Janoff and Alki, who will want it, don't actually have room for it. So, Tibarn doesn't really need it. Um, Renolf could take it if I took off Howl, which would be no, no great loss at all. Defensively, Renolf is actually a little bit tougher than those two. But I would imagine he's also not got the kind of avoid that they do, having less speed and less luck. So yeah, let's remove Owl and give him a new old. And then, uh... Probably good enough, but let's trade 
that one to Renolf because he's less likely to use it in general. I don't think I need to buy any more. So, um, okay, Riss needs some staves. Actually, what is, Alencia doesn't have any staves either. Great, okay. Amend, a physic, or restore. Amend, a physic, or restore. Cool. No light magic for you. Whatever, who cares? It's not like you're going to make attacks. Um, Rayson has all the Lagoo stones. That is highly acceptable. I guess we'll give Tibarn a healing item. As if he's ever going to use one. Um, Alright, Shinon... Do we have another forged bow? No, but we do have a brave bow. That's cool. <clears throat> I don't know that we need to forge another bow. I think we didn't specifically because the silencer is like already good, as good as a forge anyway, so I'm not gonna worry about that. Um, we also don't have a better crossbow, so I'm not gonna worry about that either. All right, so Zahark. How many? I bet I could be giving all these people who have inventory space herbs. Here, have an herb. Have an herb. <clears throat> Um, alright, where was I? So Hark probably wants to replace his Wind Edge. We could take a Woe Dao. Oh, and a Worm Slayer. Mm, he could also take Mia's Forged Sword. Is slightly more powerful than his steel blade. Um, Pukums is, you know, kind of obsolete, except for hit rate. Um, Alright, we don't need a steel sword. We don't really need a silver sword, given that we have the Pukums. Um, so, let's... Edge and yeah, I'll go ahead and let him take the uh, let me go. Um, Mia's Vorpal Blade still has charges left, so it's fine. Didn't I have a killing edge at some point? Or does Edward have it? Is that what's it? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. And that's fine, actually. Um, all right. We'll turn in that one, too. And... Get... Oh, I have more sturdy wind edges. Okay, well, whatever. <clears throat> and... No, we don't need a steel sword. Let's... Get... A let's bring another one of these wind edges just to like try to use it up or something. Yeah, that's as good as a forage or better. So Nolan. Um I guess I mean, he's not gonna be using up a hand axe. I mean he it's like he's not gonna double anything, that's for sure. Yeah, actually, let's have him put back the short axe because somebody else might want to use it. I don't think it makes sense for him to take a hammer. He's just, like, never going to be able to, like, make good use of that. So let's just have him grab a vulnerary. All right, Lucia. Have a steel blade, have a silver sword, have a couple wind edges. 
a million wind edges, have a vulnerary, have an herb. Sure. Okay. I think, I think we're good to go here. Oh, support. Uh, can Janoff and Ulki support each other? They can. Huzzah. Attack. Sweet. That's what they need. Uh, Zahark. Hmm. Yeah, this is all fine. Um, I don't really see any other valuable supports to do, so... Okay. So... So somebody... Let's see. We're gonna want somebody to, like, enemy phase these guys. Possibly Tibarn. Possibly Alencia? Uh, Maybe. I should get enemy phase these two, I guess. Um, potentially. Um, let's see. These guys, the, the Sword Brigade can try to take down these guys, I guess. Um, which, with help from Shinon. Uh, recently, some candy on turn one, of course. Try to see how Lencia does. Eight damage. That's not impressing me. That is not impressing me. I mean, it still actually is pretty close to a kill, and with stun, she would kill. Um, but, uh... Oh, wait. Hold on a second. discovered another problem with being tethered to my computer by headphone cord, which is that I can only go so far away from my computer, which means I can't go grab something and keep the headphones on. Ugh. Alright, so... Yeah, probably we just leave this to, to Tibarn. Wait, oh, he's going around. I was like, I didn't give him pass. How is he doing this? All right, I guess we kill the one in front. Try a somersault. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now I am curious. What is the actual situation here? Twenty-eight times three is ninety minus six. Uh which is eighty-four, which is a lot. It's certainly a lot. Um it is, however, not enough to kill Tibarn. Um, and it's certainly possible that he wouldn't get hit. It's certainly possible that he wouldn't get hit. Um, but at the same time, I don't think there's any real advantage in putting him in range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we'll just put him here. And these guys are not going to be able to get out of these bushes, really. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe they can get, like, 
One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't think they'll be able to get it at all, so do that. Um, that way he'll be able to kill these sword masters too. Any enemies are there? A lot. Hand. Just hand. <laughs> hand. So, what else? Um... Kills for Alencia. I guess that's actually okay. Um, there's nobody really in range to hit her except these guys. If she moves back one, they can't both hit her. Probably. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. So let's have her weaken one of this guy who's not very likely to hit her. Whip, whap. Oh. Oops. Okay, she doesn't die to both of these guys anyway, so that's fine. Um. <clears throat> attack just for the sake of making an attack probably get that XP should not get a kill because he's one of the people I actually want to level um Edward. We can get a kill with Edward. Um, that doesn't look so hot. Now let's go ahead and do that. Level up. Well, he got speed. And he got a weapon level. Amazing. Okay, so... One thing we could consider... Is... Letting these two char- or one of these two charge the hot gauges. Instead of having Tibarn take them out. Um... 20 speed and 22 speed, so this guy would double both of them, so we don't want that, probably. I'm guessing... Oh, they haven't... Yeah, their strike rank... It, well, that's another reason to actually do it, so... Let's see... Oh, one, two, three, four... I mean, I guess even if... 38, as well as 26, well, that's actually pretty close to a kill, but, um, wait, I didn't end up using renewal on anyone, right? Yeah. Oh, well. Eh. They actually have pretty good avoid. I mean, not that likely to get hit. Like, if I put them here and here, they can't both get attacked, and neither one of them kills either of them. I think this guy doubles. No, this guy doubles neither of them. 
and this guy doubles both of them. So, Janoff has a little bit more defense, so I guess do this. to shove Edward inward like that. Like I said, really, like, he, Alki wasn't, or I mean, Janoff wasn't going to believe him. Okay, um, race and... Stone. There's nobody else who's going to use these. There's no real reason to worry about using up the one use ones. little queenlet. Oh, they're not even going for them. Oh, I guess he can't reach. Okay, well. So much for plans. It's fine. Tank. Level up. Speed, strength, that's uh, actually really, really good. <laughs> I should not undersell how valuable that is. I knew it. I knew it. Okay. Um, maybe we can get Shannon to take that guy out. Um, we like open this up. Can he get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven? No, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. So okay. Plan is to chant either here or here. Um, so that's something to keep in mind. Hulky, let's see. Um, there is an archer down here. Archers are not nearly as scary to Tibarn as um, crossbows, because that's only an extra 20 damage. So, like, 53 to 32. So, I mean, you know, it's like a fair amount of damage, but eh, he doesn't really care. So, let's see what happens if we do this. 25% chance to hit. I think I'm willing to take that shot. I mean, if he get if he does get hit, I can probably heal him with a physic. 12 range. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yep, okay. And he didn't get hit. Of course he didn't. Could have activated Pavise, could have teared. There was a lot of reason not to think he would get hit. Okay, now let's have Ulki attack this guy. Although, well, Janoff isn't ready to transform anyway. Adept? Um, 
I'm gonna send, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Send Ulki over this way, probably. I mean, Ulki also, well, but he might get hit by the other guys, so probably not, but. I'm thinking Janoff will just, like, stay in support range and, like, try to get this guy to... Oh, actually, he doesn't need the help transforming, I think. He gets eight per turn. Yeah, he doesn't. But... Strike range, though. Or rank. Rank, not range. Rank. I mean, maybe Nolan can take this guy out, but I really doubt it. <laughs> yeah, I really doubt it. I imagine it's a hark. It's not capable either. No. It's not that far off, but... And I gotta send Valencia back to do it. Um... I think I'd rather advance her in this area, so... Like, if I just put park Janoff here, I mean, it means this guy is, like, has a slightly harder time getting out. I guess I could also let him attack Renolf. And he will double Renolf. But he won't kill him. Um, and then I'll get Renolf ready to transform. So yeah, we'll put we'll put Janoff here, and then we'll put Renolf, like, somewhere up this way. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, like, here. Or here and shove Shinon. But he does, Shinon doesn't need to be shoved. Um, Alright, so. Who do we want to be leveling at this point? Of, of like, aside from Valencia and Shinon. I guess I get a given a Satori sign to Renolf. I didn't think about that. Probably should have. Um, I mean, Zahark is the most useful right now, but depending if, like, it really just comes down to his strength growth rate, to whether, like, he can expect to, yeah, 35, so that's not too good. 25 defense, also not too good. Whereas, like, Edward has 60 strength, 60, uh, 60 skill, I mean speed, so, yeah, I mean, he's got a long way to catch up, though. Yeah, that, no, that, I can't, I can't really make a case on the, on the speed point, but, um, but, uh, like, then there's also Nolan, who actually has a really good speed growth at 60 as well. Um, and is going to be useful against the Lagoos again with that crossbow. So maybe the answer is Nolan. Wait, isn't that where I wanted to... Yeah, all right. So I need to get a Lincia out of the way, maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six... Or Edward. Can I go up here? Is that safe? No. What about over here? Assuming I kill the uh, the Blizzard Mage, who probably isn't even that threatening to once anyway. But one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's safe for her to come over here. Assuming that you know. Okay. I'm willing to do that. I haven't needed to heal anyone with risk yet, so... Oh, it's done. Bang, there you go. Let's see, getting it done. Okay. So... Might as well have Shin on... Well, I guess I'll just do that. Okay, yeah. Bang. I'm not a huge fan of this huge thicket here acting as like a choke point, so I can't like really use all my units. <laughs> Pretty annoying. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. All right. So. I mean, it'd be easier to give this kill to 
Edward, but... Yeah, alright, fine. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. No ranged weapons. Six, but he's gonna attack Shinon. So we'll just put Lucia right there. Nolan go here. Spark go here. Grayson. Chant. Or is he going to end up wanting to be next turn? I don't really know. Like, maybe here, maybe here. What, what is this guy doing? It's... Um... Actually, I should have... Well... That would've, this would have been a good spot for him. I'd like to leave him somewhere that he could be shoved, but then again, like, putting him, like, here... Well, I don't know. I guess I'm more likely to want to chant, like, up in this vicinity than, like, down here, I guess, probably. So, yeah, I'll just put him, like, there. Get out of here with your blizzard nonsense. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I, if I want somebody to... One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, if I want somebody to, like put some damage on these guys. I have that option. Edward, of course, isn't fast enough to double them. Uh, and obviously neither is Nolan. Edward actually does more damage. Um, but Zahark does more and more damage, thanks to having the speed to actually double. Um, still not a lot of damage, but I think I'll just put him there with a the steel blade. Nolan. Nothing on Tibarn. Nothing. Ow. Wait, did I put renewal on Alencia like I really, really should have? I probably didn't. I was thinking about it. I know that. Interesting that the one of them went for Shen on and the other didn't. I don't know what to think about that. Adept, you're dead. Uh, that's. I said he would get a decent amount of XP, but uh, I mean it's more than he was getting, but it's still not impressive. But he's definitely put in work. Give him the credit for that, for sure. Tank, super tank, even.
Tivarn tears everything apart. Ho, ho, ho. Look at all that XP. Amazing. It's actually proof he's a bad unit. Ow. Tank. Ow. Hey! Stop that. Shannon has renewal? I thought. Oh, he has imbue. Wait, he does? He has shade? Oh my gosh. Uh, okay. Um, I'm actually tempted, honestly, to restart this chapter for that reason, because I really want that taken off of him. <laughs> oh, dang it. I. That. I mean, no nothing has really happened of, like, significant consequence, and, like, that, that is definitely not how I want my resources allocated here. Like, not just for this party, but, like, like I would... Yeah, alright. So dumb.